the desire and the passion. It's tough. You have to win. You have to win a lot, and you have to be. You have to stand out. You just have to outrace them when it comes when it comes down to that. You have to have no fear. You have to sometimes even close one eye and you know and go on throttle. Every now and then, you know, you get in the car and you make one with the car. The car does just about everything you ask it to do. It doesn't happen every weekend. To be good at this, you gotta be in the zone every day. I always tell people, if you gotta make an effort to do it, you shouldn't be doing it. A lot of people go out there and try to drive, drive too fast, too quickly. M miss turning points, miss apexes, untidy exits. I, I normally race with dark visor because less you see, faster you are. Now these guys are committed. I mean, every single day they're in the gym. The entire time, the core is tight, just like in the race car. You're stable, so it's core stabilization versus core movement, a totally different way of training. And then when I see them hit the brakes, I just go, you know, a split second later. And everybody thinks they're committed, but who's really willing to sacrifice? If you're married and it means a divorce, you gotta get it. You don't wanna be the weak link ever in racing. Because the one thing you don't wanna do and you really don't want to do this. If you get a reputation as a car crasher or a guy who's hard on equipment, tears equipment up, that's the best way to kill your career. Safe is fast, you know. Ultimately, you've got to get to the end of the race before you can win a race. Don't forget, safestfast.com.